welcome to the urban jungle in Cancun, Mexico. I emphasize urban because you can hear the banging. Uh, it's like this long, like little, like a jungle down there. Um, I saw a fox the other night, and bats every night, and parrots come too. Pretty noisy. Almost as noisy as a hammer. Well, probably more noisy than the hammering. If parrots were right there in those trees, they come in gangs. They come in gangs. Which is very, very noisy. But hopefully we can work through this. I like being outside. It's been rainy and just, uh, they were they literally tore out a center block wall right underneath of us. It took two days. I was down for out here. Uh, and they're putting in uh, to their apartment uh, a little uh, porch. I guess they don't have an entrance onto their deck. So I was thinking, well, that's a very sensible renovation. And uh, but anyway, um, I was saw on the uh, two of cups a lot coming up here with this reading. And um, being a soul family uh, reading, I'm trying to think more along the lines of manifestation, spirituality. I'm thinking internal, but I'm still thinking of the heart spread that I use so much and. Uh, especially uh, for who's on your mind or couples. Uh, if I do work with people personally and they do have a love question, I will use the heart spread, otherwise kind of wide open. A lot of times I go with the Celtic cross if it's, if it's not a love reading. But I get the first house and the second house, the first card and the second, which is always meant to show where is that person in their life separate like from a relationship, like where are they? And so I see these this two of cups as being the first and seventh, and it's someone looking back at you, at us. We look, we're looking out, and with the two of cups, particularly the energy of the two of cups, it's someone looking back at us. That's kind of really what it is at the heart of it, right? Um, it usually implies there's a love interest here. But uh, I've been doing a lot of readings that are oriented towards using the heart spread with the number two position being the higher self, being our own anima animus projection of what we want in love. I did a whole week of readings. Every sign is up two weeks ago if you didn't see those. Strength we got at the bottom of the deck, Leo to the sun. So I'm feeling it. Uh, overall energy uh, for this little four card read um, is you know sad season we're there now I'm the, it's the i think gonna be a lot lighter energy coming up here for this uh winter solstice i'll call it nothing against christmas i'm not out to kill christmas um i just never was a huge fan once i kind of got over the age of seven plus i never had kids so that kind of didn't emphasize it you know Christmas for me was best spent at the beach at a luxury hotel because you get really good prices on the East Coast anyway. And uh, they usually have wonderful restaurants there. So just go right there. Put your coat on. It's cold, but you know, you're walking on the beach, you know, you and your loved one. Uh, and it's just night, and uh, there's usually no one out there in the winter. You know, amazing, uh, usually that's when really the, the good stuff washes up on the shore. It's winter storms come and bring all the floatsome and shells and stuff. So pre-shuffle, guys, let me start. <clears throat> wow, the tower. So this is something ending. It's, uh, this is where we're at right now. Um, in the round, manifestation, spirituality. <sighs> I don't, I'm trying to put this in the best way. Energetically, we're looking at with the two of cups here in this reading, and I'm just calling it like the overall energy it goes along with strength. It's very positive. It's making us very strong. It's some kind of new self alignment, as if this is corny as shit. Like we see that person across the crowded room, and we get that Uranus to Venus Mars energy somehow, and we're like boing boing, and we're instantly uh, attracted to your, you know, and we're maybe banging in the bathroom before we leave the place, you know, but it's ourselves, you know, it's like really seeing ourselves and going, holy shit, man, <laughs> I, I want that, you know, and really that's a, really will change the whole dynamic because now, um, that you're, we're looking at ourselves and going, wow, we really, I really want this, what I am, 
uh, it kind of is inevitably is going to change what we look for in the seventh house of others and that's Venus and that's friends uh, uh, beauty how we look at beauty um, um, even wealth abundance is there you can think Taurus energy too ruled by uh, Venus um, and it's like to get that to get there into that energy something naturally is has to be let go and it's that classic something that's not serving our greatest good but this is implied that it's happening right now and by all could not to go too much into astrology but it's happening right now this is exactly happening right now i think venus uh, i think neptune is finally going direct now stationing so very powerful for me right now it's in my seventh house square my son uh, so this is like the energy of being just illusions being stripped away big time so I'm thinking what this is what's coming down is any illusions we had about our foundation like I, I just really go uh, 3d with it suddenly realizing holy shit I really don't even have close to enough money in my retirement fund if I want to retire in X amount of years and live a comfortable life it could, could be just practically could be practically uh, speaking you know having gone to bed with uh, you know beer goggles and waking up with someone and wondering how, what the hell happened and who is this and uh, oh my god what did I do you know kind of energy and uh, so something's let go of really quick but i think it's like really quick and somehow so where we're at right now just feels natural this is not uh <clears throat> you know someone just ripping off the band-aid and you're going oh that didn't even hurt you know but it need to be done now this is what's blocking us i really don't want to see this here i saw the magician pop up too two of cups and magician two of cups and magician <clears throat> anybody's manifesting love it's like <laughs> two of cups two of cups it's like there's uh, it's it's I keep saying astral train it's in route you know you're not seeing it it's a good this pure manifestation card thing is this in the blocking position so this is um, you know um, I gotta feel like it's just coming in so close just look at the look on the magician's face I mean this is upright so you could just take this one it's it's also like advice of what's walking you just really look at it as advice it's not something that's blocking you like you know no way you can get through this is here to show us like what we need to do is my reading too the way I read this makes sense to me is trust in our ability to manifest you know um, that's not so easy to do sometimes it may be a period of time too with the tower and the magician it's like saying um don't feel like you're in the tower and you'd have to just lay down and die you know look at it as an opportunity immediately pick up some bricks you know start doing what you can um you know when the tower comes down as an example maybe that is a good time uh, for you to say hit the road you know and just do something completely different you know you've been putting all of your hopes and stuff into this uh and whatever this tower is and then it comes down it just look at it because that's a sign from the universe that that needs to end and then instead of not doing it you know allow yourself to kind of open up and imagine what you can do now with this new situation that you have here uh, uh, inevitably you know with the tower down you're in kind of a it's pushing you on into like a new energy guys <clears throat> and advice from spirit and I love to see the ace of pentacles here um, really solid spirits coming in and saying uh, something's coming that's really solid you know the whole thing with the tower it comes down why because it, the foundation it wasn't strong you know uh, take you to the biblical Jesus uh, build your uh, you know when you build your house upon me it's like building upon a rock uh, otherwise it's on this sand and it washes away well this is anything doesn't serve us and this is spiritually now is coming down ninth house stuff third house stuff north node south node stuff one degree uh stuff uh, really looking over all that energy um 
south node's dead on my uh, Juno asteroid. Um, this is a great reassurance, and I think it's like if we just stop for a minute, if, if you're resonating with this, you would feel very solid. It's almost an energy like Spirit's trying to tell you. It's like um, <laughs> if you can turn this around, because right now it's challenging. It's in the reverse. We're not having the faith in our own abilities to take control and be the magician and direct our life and manifest, you know. Um, and once we turn this around, then we're like tower proof. That's what this is saying. This is Spirit's advice. It's like once you do this, you're tower proof. Like I've been saying for a while, it's like my goal. It's like to really be able to just exist and live and do the, my life and, and trust that no matter what happens, it, it's meant to happen. You know, and I'm not quite there. You know, when you think about the, I call it the caribou being eaten alive conundrum. You know, the caribou's being eaten alive by a wolf pack. Now is everything perfect? Everything is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, it's it can be a tough uh, philosophy to wrap your mind around. It's not it's not for the faint of heart, honestly. Wow, talk about not for the faint of heart. And so now we have advice from spirit being the Ace of Pentacles. And the outcome being the Ace of Wands, that is a solid new start. I mean, this is just classic, man. I gotta tell you here, this is like, you know, what, all, what you always hear if you watch tarot. When the tower comes down, it's because something you couldn't let go, and the universe finally steps in. Eventually, kind of does you a solid, or karma does. Everyone look at it, but it comes down, and you it's kind of out of your hands. Um, now, out of it, you can be the magician, and you can create a new start, you know. It's something that's blocking, it's like there's a little hesitance to do that, because the magician's what's blocking in this reading. So it's as simple as this, you know. Spirit's saying it's solid, and the outcome is you're in the out. Spirit's saying it's solid, and the outcome is you're going for it. <laughs> and that's whatever it is, you know, love relationship uh, just it could be deep spiritual work in your in yourself it's like this is really firing it up and activating you know um, wow so let me know guys uh, what you think and uh, appreciate any uh, insight and comments uh, too and do subscribe appreciate it guys